Hello friends, welcome back. Now that we have looked at uh, at least some basic fundamental elements of VBA and macros and also understood how the debug and the watch window and immediate window actually looks like, let's actually create basic macro. Try to see if we are able to kind of achieve these two objectives. Number one is whether we are able to create the macro correctly and number two is uh, that if there are certain conditions, how can we write some kind of codes so that uh, you know we can uh, incorporate those conditions. The conditions essentially mean that uh, let's say if if a ball is equal to red color then prompt a certain then do certain action or maybe if pen is black then do something. So you know these are certain conditions so that's that's what these conditions are all about and how do we incorporate that in our macros. So probably we'll, what we'll do is we'll take a case which is fairly simple here what we will do is in our cell a1 which uh, we define this as cell 1 comma 1 so this is basically cell number a1 we will write our name okay we'll write a name and uh, cell number a2 which is basically cells 2 comma 1 dot value I'm sure you are uh, able to follow this uh, we'll write the age of the person what needs to be done now uh, what needs to be done the output should be something like this it should prompt the name and tell us whether the person is a minor or uh, let's say a major or a senior citizen now I'll give you some conditions on uh, how the bifurcation would be like uh, let's define a minor as someone whose age is less than 18 okay a major would be someone who has an age of greater than 18 this would be greater than 18 and less than let's say age here and um, senior citizen would be uh, the age which is greater than 60. There should be a message that prompts and tells us that hi whatever the name is you are a major or a minor or a senior citizen so you know based on these conditions so what is the objective in these two cells here in A1 and A2 we will put across the names and the age and the macro should automatically prompt us with a message that hi David you are a minor or hi David you are a senior or some a senior citizen or something of that sort so uh, this is the whole objective but before doing that let's let's kind of you know run through a virtual code and uh, see if that makes sense uh, for implementing these conditions right minor major and senior citizen we will be using a if function so obviously we need to test whether the age is greater than 18 or less than 18 or you know greater than 60 so if is basically used to check certain conditions so if as we do this same thing in Excel the same uh, aspects of uh, conditions actually applies here as well so what we need to do is if we we need to just check if age is less than 18 then from the message as hi name you are a minor else if age is less than 60 so what will happen in this case if the age is less than 18 then this message gets prompted if age is not less than 18 it will move further and it will evaluate this if function so here then the message should be I name you are a major else again if this condition is also not true then uh, probably there's no requirement of if here because if these two are not true definitely the person would lie in the third zone so the message should be something like this hi name you are a senior citizen so 
uh, this is the whole objective of uh, our exercise and the virtual algorithm would be something like this okay so let's try and implement this in our case and uh, let's see if it, it, it works out well for us so we have opened a new worksheet called book one and I'll go to the developers tab click here on visual basic and obviously we go into the VB editor now I'm going to click here on sheet one okay so I'm going to define a new function so new function starts with sub and uh, the name would be something like this category so I just want to understand which category the person lies into maybe you know age category so the moment I click uh, enter you know automatically these brackets and end sub actually comes into picture so you don't have to worry about things this uh, VBA is uh, kind of very intuitive and intelligent to fill up the remaining things so let's start by implementing what we wanted to do here so we want to first and foremost look at the name and the age so obviously name is a string and uh, age it could be an integer or be a decimal uh, so for the time being let's assume that name is string and age would be integer age so I'll define dim age as integer you remember we had just done this in our earlier case I'll explain uh, you uh, the different kinds of variables uh, in the other video altogether but for the time being uh, just ensure that you are kind of um, understanding the whole concept here I'm defining name as a string variable because it is a string okay now this is what I do I'll just shorten this length so that I can see this fields in the Excel as well now what happens is I want to have the cell 1 1 as name and cell 2 1 as age so I'll define this name is equal to cells 1 comma 1 dot value and age as cells 2 comma 1 dot value so basically what we are saying is uh, here on on the left hand side we'll write the name and in this column in this cell we'll write the age so this is name this is age so that's what has been defined and this variables will get assigned to these respective cells 